The image behind is um, an image of the medal ceremony uh, at the 1968 Mexico Olympic Games after the final of the men's 200 metres. Um, the result of the race was that um, um, an African-American guy called Tommy Smith won the race from um, a guy called Peter Norman from Australia. And the third place getter was a guy called John Carlos, um, also representing the United States of America. Uh, Smith and Carlos were expected to fight out the finish, but um, in somewhat of a surprise, um, Norman split the pair. 1968 was a very significant year um, for a lot of reasons, I think, um, uh, not least being that it was an Olympic year, but um, it was also the year that uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. I think also Bobby Kennedy. There was the uh, student riots in Paris and student uprisings all around the world. It was a really tumultuous time. Um, and um, leading into the Olympics, there was uh, talk of uh, a boycott um, by African nations, you know, like because of. Um, the civil rights violations in the, in the United States at the time. There was talk of, of um, African-American athletes from America not participating in the Olympics um, because of uh, civil rights violations you know, like, uh, throughout America. The, obviously, the, the big talking point about this shot is um, the, the Black Power salutes that uh, the two um, black guys um, gave um, on the, the dais uh, um, after they received their medals. Um, well, it caused a, an uproar in the Olympic uh, movement and images you know, like, were sent all around the world. You know, like the, uh, the countries that had television, it was just... Uh, played ad nauseum, replayed ad nauseum in those places. Um, the newspaper coverage, you know, saturation um, coverage, so, so much so that this is one of uh, the most recognisable images in human history. Um, the, there is, however, um, an underlying story, um, which I, I hope lots of people who visit this gallery will find out um, in the future. The background story to this is that uh, the two black guys asked the white guys permission uh, for them to, to make their gesture. And he agreed, and more than agreeing with them, uh, to allow them to make their, their gesture, um, he wore a badge in solidarity with uh, those two guys. Um, that badge was um, the Olympic Project for Human Rights. And um, you've got to remember that this was a young man from Australia, you know, where the white Australia policy still had another four years to go before it was to be um, uh, abolished. Um, so he's made this, um, this decision uh, with um, these guys to, to uh, make this gesture and he was there you know, like in solidarity with them. Uh, of course, when these guys got home to America, you know, like they, was, they, was, they were stripped of their medals and um, were just held up as pariah for years and years, you know, for many, many years. Some of the, no the notable things happened out of it. You know, uh, for Norman, at the uh, following Olympic Games in uh, Munich, he was still the fastest guy in Australia by a long way. Uh, so the Australian Olympic Committee uh, didn't pick a team to contest the 200 metres for men uh, running at uh, the uh, Munich Olympics. So he missed out on, on representing Australia again there. And in 2000 at the Sydney Olympic Games, they, um, uh, the Australian Olympic Committee invited every Olympic medal winner to walk a lap of honour 
around the Olympic Stadium in Sydney, except Peter Norman. So 32 years later, that, you know, what, that, that grudge was still held. You know? there, there are not many ex stories you know, like, um, that I can tell you know, in my art that have actually have um, um, white people doing heroic deeds you know, like that, that for the benefit of, of um, black people. So, um, or for Aboriginal people to be precise here. Uh, this, is, this is one occasion where, where this has happened and it's probably the reason why he's so um, unknown here in, in, a, in Australia because he actually made his stance you know, like against uh, white privilege. It was a very tumultuous time. You know, like the, the white Australia policy was still in. It, it wasn't to be abolished until Gough Whitlam came to power in 1972. You know, so that's another of the, the significant things you know, about this time you know, and shows um, the, the courage and the bravery and foresight of this young man. You know, like, uh, and they, these were all young men when they made, the, when they made you know, these statements. And I say statements, you know, because uh, he was making one too. You know, like, um, he was saying, well, I support these guys. You know. I don't think the, the, that uh, they're being treated fairly, so you know, like, I'm, I'm going to stand here in solidarity with them.